snow. One, th- one thing uh, I was wanting to ask you about, I, what it caught my attention because uh, last night I was, I've been watching um, documentaries on homosexuality and, and animals, and how, how it exists in nature and stuff. And I know the, the, um, at, at least the majority, if not all fundamentalist Christians, they, they basically have like kind of a, um, a discriminatory stance on, on homosexuality or that they condemn it. How do y'all, how, how would y'all handle that? Are you familiar with the account of Solomon and Gomorrah? Um, a, a little, uh, it, um, not really. The most I know is it was a, a town that were kind of isolated. Um, there were a lot of people being promiscuous, and they, they were considering they were, they were committing a lot of sins according to the Bible, and um, basically a, a crusade. There was it a crusade that killed them, or was it natural disaster? Uh, angels, angels came through because of the God-fearing man, Abraham's nephew Lot, yeah, and his daughters had settled down there. This is after um, a lot wife was. Um, well, Lot, Lot's wife was with them, but she, she looked back. Yeah. Is this, oh, this is past Sunday. We just, we just had that lesson and, and, um, at the Kingdom Hall. But um, it, it, it was homosexual. Homosexual. Particularly, the account shows it was men that were being inflamed um, with men. The account, you know, we, we probably can read that after we share this one scripture about um, how. It is, it's, it's been prevalent for a while, but in the scriptures, it is condemned, but it shows that people can't change. Once you take in the accurate knowledge of truth and, and recognize that that um, we, we, can, we, we can fight against sinful tendencies. Oh, what page are you on? Okay, we're going to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, uh, 14, 20, 20, um, seven. I know it's warm in here. Let me know if y'all want some ice water or something. Oh, no. oh that, that air feels good. Yeah. Yeah. Warm it in my house. Let's go cool it in my house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we try not to run the electricity. 14 what? Um, 1427. Okay. Corinthians what? Chapter 6. Okay. And if you read verse 9, 10, and 11. What? Do you not know what unrighteous persons will not inherit God's kingdom? Do not be misled. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men kept for unnatural pur- purposes, nor men who lie with men. What, what does that mean, um, kept for unnatural purposes? Bestiality. Oh. Thing unnatural. Man and beast. Nor thieves, nor greedy persons, nor drunkards, nor re- 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 uh, revilers. revilers. What's that? Somebody that reviles. Uh, what's that? Buck, buck against I'm not authority. familiar with that word. Yeah, buck against, go against authority, or okay. reviler. Um, nor ex- extortioners will inherit God's kingdom. Stop right there. That wide spectrum of things for those that practice unrighteousness. Those right. that practice unrighteousness. But notice what verse 11 says. And yet, that is what some of you were. But you have been washed clean. But you have been sanctif- sanctified. Sanctified. But you have been declared righteous in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And with the spirit of our God. So in Corinth, there, this is Apostle Paul writing to the congregation in Corinth. It was very prevalent in the city of Corinth. And I think Don might have something else here. No, the only thing, uh, it's not with Jehovah's Witnesses, it's how we feel. Mm-hmm. We, we, it's what Jehovah said. I mean, in order to be a servant of the true God, Whatever he say is what we believe and we try to practice that to the best of our ability. Are we perfect? No. But what we try to do, 
whatever it says between Genesis and Revelation, mm -hmm. um, we try to, to the best of our abilities, to uphold His laws. And the scripture was, I was going to quote was the one that said, these are the things that Jehovah hates, and it went into the same thing. But the point is, is that if Jehovah hates it, if I want to serve Him, that means I hate, I hate it. It doesn't mean that we hate the people. Right. We don't hate anyone. Just the activity. The activity. But being that you said that the people can come out of that, so you believe it's a choice. Yes. Well, yes. Yes. Let's see. That, that's what I, I don't agree with because I, it's almost proven scientifically that it, it's biological, and that that's what one thing like. Um, Watch, watch. I mean, maybe you can have an understanding of what. Uh, can we share one more scripture? Yeah. Before yeah. We go into that? yeah. Um, here in Romans, Romans chapter 1. Okay. That's on 1405. You start with verse 24. Therefore, God kept in keeping with the desires of their hearts. Gave them, on, <clears throat> gave them to clean, cleanness, cleanness, that their bodies may be dishonored among them, even those who exchanged the truth of God for the lie, and venerated and rendered sacred service to the creation rather than the one who created who is blessed forever. Amen. That is why God gave them up to disgraceful sexual appetites. For both their females changed the natural use of themselves into one contrary to nature. And likewise, even the males left the natural use of the female and became violently inflamed and the lust toward one another, males with males, working what is obscene and receiving them in themselves the full recompense, recompense which was due for their, their error. And if you don't mind, turn over to First John chapter 4. First John chapter 4 and consider verse 8. Okay. He that does not love has not come to know God because God is love. Okay, now, to believe that God is love, do you think he would just arbitrarily t uh, take people and just destroy them for nothing? Would a father do that? Uh, not, a, not a good father, but right. fathers have done that. Right. Uh, yes, but we're talking about a good father. Not a good father, no. So, in, with this scripture, it helps us to appreciate that we all are free moral agents. Yeah. You can do whatever you want to do, whether it's right or wrong. That's a decision you made. But would you say that you, you chose to be attracted to females? I tell you what, I think that uh, God has put it in our uh, DNA as men to be attracted but, uh, to females. It's, it's, well, how do you explain yeah. it? It's, it's real. Yeah. It's natural. Yeah, it's natural. It's, uh, homosexuality is yeah. natural. No. It, uh, well, the point is, it's natural from the standpoint of a God of this system. In I, words, I, I mean, it's natural in nature. Well, we're talking about humans. It's, I mean, it's biological. They, 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 they can show it. We're talking about it's humans. It's not. See, now, see, you've got to remember, the scriptures yeah. do not cover monkeys, chickens, dogs, and stuff like this. Yeah. These are talking about human characteristics. This is what uh, Jehovah God has said. If you live by these, you will be saved. Point blank. Now, to give it a point now, using your analogy, it's nothing wrong going out here on um, J.B.T. Harris and doing 120 miles an hour. It's fine. Until the cops pull you over. All, regardless if it's a worldly law or God's law, it always has consequences. We can't change it. You can tell the, uh, the police, oh yeah, I just did it because I didn't have nothing else to do. Oh, fine. Well, we'll take you to jail and let you explain to the judge. But I'm not understanding, like, 
why it's immoral. You know, is is what is moral moral because God said it's moral? Is it moral because he it's moral? He set the principle. He set the pattern. He told us. He gave us commands, point blank. But, <laughs> so if but so it's moral just because he said it's moral. Yes. Or, Don't so, you think so? Well, no. Well, I mean, what if God were to say murder were moral or rape were moral? Would it be moral? If God had said that, but again, what do the Bible it, say? It, I mean, see, you, so, we, we can we can be hypothetical and we can say anything. Well, you know, suppose he said that you can fly around like a bird. But would that be, I mean, would that be moral? If he, if what, he, what do we, I mean, I understand what you're saying, but understand what is he saying? It's not what he could have said or how he projected. He gave men laws. But, but right? if, my point is, if, if he said something like, like if I were to live in the Old Testament days and under Mosaic law, and he were to say, I, it was fine, perfectly fine for me to take a, a female slave as my wife, even at that time, I, I still think, I, I would think that, that that wasn't right, even though, you know, at that time he said it was right. I would still, th I would still look at that, and, and I would hope I would look at that and say that it's, it's wrong to do that to another person. Well, let me let me put it like this. You know, you were in the military, right? Yeah. You went to combat, right? Right. Did you think it was right to go? Um, honestly, no. Why did you go? Because I, I didn't have a choice. I was, I was forced to. I was, it was that or... No, 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 you had a choice. Oh, I mean, uh, that or, or prison. <laughs> yeah, but see, it was a consequence for your decision, you see? Yeah. It's the same thing with God's law. God set the pattern, he set the laws, because he knew what is best for us as humans. How does that, how does that hurt other humans, though? Like homosexuals, how does that hurt humans as a species? There's only, and I... I, I I, 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 I it's only to me there is only one race, and that's the human race. Okay. Right. Um, God set the pattern for us to deal with, but on the same token, we are free of moral agents. If, in other words, but I, you, I don't think that that's true, though, because a homosexual is attracted to to the same their same gender, just as you're attracted to a female. That's true, but why? Is but it because, because it's in like it's a defect. I mean, I mean, you could you could say it's so, a, de a defect. Okay, so you're saying now. Let me ask you. So you're saying, to my understanding, you have, you're saying one or two things. Either you're saying that God created this group of people, so He will have to destroy them, according to His word, the Bible. Yeah. Or uh, that was um, a mistake. The God makes mistakes. I don't know necessarily that it, it's a mistake. I mean, because I can see the same pattern and, and the same areas of the brain that, that function under homosexuality. I mean, it, it's it's the same as between us and animals, and and, and homosexuality has been um, it, it's very prevalent in nature. So you you equate uh, humans with animals. It's it's the same behavior. What was the purpose of God creating? What did He create animals to do? Um. Uh, uh, see, I, I don't. From Genesis, I mean, we can just say Genesis. Uh, as far as Genesis is concerned, He He created the animals and the earth for people. Hey, what would be the eventuality? What's that? What would be the eventuality? All animals. What, what do you mean? What would happen to them? Over a period of time, if what they would die. In other words, oh, if, if, if every if every animal was gay. No, no, no. 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 All animals, animals, period, are, were created to eventually die. die. Yeah. Oh, okay. Man was created, created last forever. Yes. To their family. Okay. Okay. If they obeyed. Right. Okay. Now, you when you think about obeying. Uh, obeying is l quite like in the military. Uh, your commanders gave you orders. Right. Been there, done that. Some of the orders, uh, of course, I didn't agree with. But again, I didn't want to wind up in Leavenworth or any place else. Yeah. 